Welcome to the moment of truth. Today is um, an update about Moabad, the glorious child that was violently taken away from Nigerians and from the old world. It just what happens now that I'm about to show you is just an, a perfect example of what happened between Balaam and Balak. You remember in the Bible, when Balaam, when Balak hires, hired uh, Balaam to go and curse the Israel, Israelites, Israelis, because they were greater, they were doing great and being greater than the people, than his people. So he hired uh, Balaam. Balaam agreed, he went there. You see this uh, Alpha with uh, Lawani, Big Lawani, was hired by uh, Samlari and uh, Naramali to do damage control. They've, been try they, they've tried everything since they were released and uh, from prison and other, from detention or something like that. They were actually held responsible by the whole world for the death of Mobad. And they did everything. The whole world refused to forgive them. They did, uh, they do some handouts. Laramali released uh, a song and all that. Zeno self was dragged into it. Zeno too is suffering. They abandoned these three because of Mobad. So whatever you are doing in life, don't ever think you are too powerful because it's not all the head you can touch and go scot-free. So, back to our story. They hired this uh, alpha <laughs> to come and do damage control. And damage control went wrong, go. It, is, uh, it was recorded in Yoruba language. But I just put there what they said in English. The alpha went there. Oh. The alpha started cursing, rainy curses on people that has hands in the death of Mobad. <laughs> Not be small curse. Oh. Sam Larry started shaking his legs. Uh, um, what was his name? Naramali was trying to give the guy, the alpha, some kind of look. Like, ah. Is this is not the reason why we call, we bring you here now. And he must have been paid to go there. It's not free. They spent a lot of money to cover up. The government is not doing much about it because, you know, when you are powerful in Nigeria, you can do anything, you know, and go score free, you know? <laughs> But the God of universe, the judge of all judges, is backing up the family of Mobad. You know, when the old world was fighting and all that, they went and hired a, a very dark man to divert everybody. Then, very dark man started the story of Mobad's son, that's innocent child. Ah, brother innocent, innocent child into mud. Said the, the, the child below looks like Sam Larry. And all of a sudden, hey, there was a turn. And people left walking Mubad. And they started asking for DNA test and all that. So they won. They won that one. And he was campaigning for uh, Naramali and Sam Larry. But as God will have it, the same energy that Satan gave him at, at that time to, to divert the world from the cocoa matter is the same energy now that Satan now used to, to make him to go and touch some people that they, they are untouchable as well. He first of all touched the Tontodike and Yabojo. Over the case of Mobado, he started insulting them. Oh. They were on, a, on their own, JJ. 
So Tonto DK managed to get him invited by police the first time. They didn't win because he went there with his lawyer. So lawyer helped him and all that. He managed to get out of it. But this time around, hey, he now used the same energy to touch their very own Bob Risky, their mama. So he touches Bob Risky, they started dragging it. And Tonto Dike said, ah, this is another, uh, what is it called for me now? To tell the whole world, he has touched Nigerian police, though. He has, he has touched the lawmakers, though. Although he came back to apologize, but it didn't work. I told you, he's bullying everybody on the internet. He bullied me, but you released him. This time around, they didn't even uh, invite him for a chat or anything. They just went straight away and picked him up. As we speak, very dark man is in police cell. That's what I'm saying to you. Don't think you can do any evil and go scot free. No, it's impossible. The same Satan that will lift you up with the same energy that he used to showcase you is the same energy. Satan will use to bring you down or to do whatever I want to do with you. When I saw this, I said, ah, how I the mighty folly. This guy thought he was so powerful. You know, after he won that case for Naramali and Samlari, he was invited to Lagos <laughs> by the boys, the powerful boys that was behind Everything because he had done this, uh, he, he did the work for them. They invited him to Lagos, and everybody was like, Ah, ah, you know, that one with big stomach. Hey, that short one with big stomach. Anywhere you see that guy, you see evil. You see evil. The one that lost his uh, child, the child just walked into swimming pool. I think he was three years or four years old. They were with that guy, yo. And the other one, that Pastor Toby, that's a duping, that uh, uh, UK has, has, um, has closed the church, but he's still messing about in the UK. I don't know why UK still let him do that nonsense. Maybe he's going through court cases or something like that. But he's been sanctioned anyway. Only exposure. They focus on his case and they manage to bring him down. That's the Adeboyega. They brought him down. So they were with that one, doing all sorts of things with that one and the one with a big belly, short man with big belly, when their son walked into the, into the swimming pool, four years old. A lot of people were in the house, though. They didn't see that boy when he walked in there. So someone have already touched on that. That's now they invited very dark man to Lagos just to appreciate him, to thank him for good work. You managed to divert them. Everybody dumped the cocoa matter. They started talking about the, the boy didn't look like a, a Mobad. He cost the mother, the wife, a great pain. The Baba to jump into it, started asking for DNA. Distraction everywhere. But what about it now? That's what I want you people to know. And you, supporter of evil, see him in the in the police uh, in the police uh, office the first time when uh, Tonto DK first arrested him. The uh, first um, yeah arrested him and uh, he went there, so he managed to get out. But when these people are following you, hey, hey, they don't let you go. They do not let you go. You think you are powerful. You are mighty. Ah, ah, hey, hey. So all those boys now, including today the Ednots. Today the Ednots, where are they now? On this one, ah, ah. He used his own mouth now. He said the uh, police, Nigerian police, imagine, 
knocking the the uh, they are knocking Bobrisky, and they are knocking and uh, the the senators too are knocking Bobrisky. So how is he going to come out of this one now? I don't understand. Because Toto DK is in politics. He has already had a, a hold on him that told you this is what he's doing online. Why should he be allowed to be doing that online? So he touches, he started with Mobad, Mobad's son, the innocent child were dragging to the mall to the extent that people were raining curses on that innocent child. Very touching. Over this case, me, I cry though. I see what Nigerians are doing for money. Please, don't do nonsense for money. That's where I'm going. Do not do rubbish for money. Because God of universe is there. Satan has no free offer. He has no free gift to. If Satan bring you up, he will use the same method to bring you down. Look at the uh, people that work with Olukoya. They worked with Olukoya for many years. Now, see what Olukoya is doing for them, to them. Richard, see what Olukoya is doing to them. I don't love you that will come here. That will be rainy courses be because we are talking about your Jews. Ah, ah you will be part of their judgment too because you will not go scot-free. The judgment written that God said is going to visit the, the, all the iniquities is upon all of you. Do good though, so good will follow you. Because if you do good, good will follow you. If you do evil, the same evil will follow you. You will get it back. There's no prayers about it. Everybody is praying, 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 praying. praying. They are praying to unknown God. That's why there is no results. When we start to pray, to the real God, you will see everything will be, will be all right for everybody. So I saw this. I said, hey, let me, let me choke them out. These are no updates. So do good. Good follow you. I know God for yourself. Satan has no free gifts. And I will see you on my next video. Bye for now. We're going to be discussing Bible on my next video. It's going to be really, really deep. Bye for now.